Yo, what's up with it, y'all? It's JD Travel Stenix, and I'm back with another quick video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about my five rules for calisthenics. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys are interested in travel, fitness, and overall growth content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can get updated every time I drop new content. Now, if you're new to the calisthenics game, or if you're somebody who's been doing calisthenics, but you wanna take your progress to the next level, I've got five fundamental rules to adhere to while you're training calisthenics. Now, rule number one is gonna be know what you're training for. You can't blindly show up to the park, gym, or wherever you're gonna be training calisthenics and just start doing random body weight exercises and think that you'll magically be able to do all the cool calisthenics stuff that you see on YouTube or Instagram. You have to train with a purpose. There's many different styles of calisthenics, but I recommend that you guys focus on specific goals to make rapid progress. Some people are looking to build an impressive physique, while some people are looking to acquire calisthenic skills, and others are just looking for a method to work out that just keeps them in good shape while gaining some strength little by little. You can master calisthenic skills, gymnastics rings, build muscle endurance, and build an impressive physique, but you have to lay out a roadmap first. Okay, so rule number two is always use proper form. When you cheat on your form to get extra reps, you're only cheating yourself. When you cheat, it takes longer to achieve your calisthenic skills that you want to accomplish, and it'll also hinder you from being able to complete more difficult progressions. Your physique won't be as complete, and you'll cheat yourself of strength gains. But most importantly, lack of full range of motion and using bad form will hinder your mobility and also cause injuries. All right, now we're at rule number three, and rule number three is using progressions to elevate to higher levels of calisthenics. Don't skip steps. When you're progressing to a movement like handstand push-ups or muscle-ups, these are movements that you can't start doing with no prior experience in body weight training. You have to master the fundamentals first before attempting these movements. There's a requisite amount of strength that you need to do elite calisthenics movements. There might be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten movements that you need to master before you can achieve a specific advanced movement like a muscle up, like a handstand push up, like a front lever or a back lever or a human flag. A lot of these different things you have to crawl before you walk. Skipping steps and attempting elite calisthenic movements is not going to do anything but lead to injuries and quite frankly, you're just going to embarrass yourself when you're at the park. Let's just say, for instance, you skip steps and you are able to somewhat complete the movement you're gonna end up having bad form on maybe something like a muscle up or you're gonna have bad form on maybe something like a front lever or any any of these exercises you're gonna have bad form and it's just gonna look awkward like i said before you have to crawl before you walk so take the proper progressions and incrementally move your way forward when it comes down to gaining strength uh, gaining skill sets or going higher on reps all right Rule number four, you are your own competition. Do not compare yourselves to others. Compare yourself to what you were the day prior or the week prior or the month prior or the year prior. Your competition is yourself. Your progress is your progress. Nobody else can affect that. I know it can be hard to not compare yourself to others, especially with YouTube and Instagram and you know everybody having their different strengths and weaknesses in their in their performance and also in their physiques but you need to just focus on yourself and focus on what you're capable of everybody has different genetics everybody has different abilities and everybody has a different pathway to success comparing yourself to ig influencers and calisthenics athletes who've been in the game for five years plus is only going to lead to hurting your confidence which can in turn lower your motivation Use others as motivation, not as competition. Okay, my final rule of calisthenics is consistency is key. With calisthenics, just like anything else in life, you have to be consistent to make real progress. Nothing of true value is obtained easy or built overnight. Your body and calisthenic skills are no different. Keep your head down and grind, and by the time you look up, you'll have made more progress than you realized. Obsessing about progress daily only leads to anxiety and it takes the joy out of training. Believe me, I've seen it time and time again. All right, guys, so these are my five rules for calisthenics. You can actually apply some of these rules to everyday life. Uh, a lot of these rules you can apply to, you know, whatever you're doing in life, school, uh, building a business, improving in any aspect of life. You're going to want to take steps. You're going to want to lay out a blueprint 
you're going to want to be consistent and you're going to want to monitor your specific progress and not pay attention to the outside world. Sometimes you have to have tunnel vision and keep it moving. But anyways, guys, keep all these five rules of calisthenics in mind when you start training calisthenics or as you continue to train calisthenics and just keep your head down and grind. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, go ahead and leave me a like. If you guys are interested in improving your calisthenic skills, improving your physique, you can set up a free online consultation with me. You can do a free Zoom call with me. We can go over some of your goals. We can lay out a roadmap together and create a blueprint for you to improve your physique, improve your health, and improve your calisthenics training. Uh, hit my website up. That's travelsthenics.com. I hope everybody's having a great day. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.